Hello friends! We have to confess that we have a bit of an unusual love for Disney Springs. It's always been our go-to. It's just so much fun. You can go shopping, even if it's just to like window shop and check out all the gorgeous new things. But I gotta tell you, when the holiday season rolls around, Disney Springs transforms in the most magical way. It's like stepping into a Hallmark movie or something. It's just absolutely awesome. The air is filled with the sound of live music. There's just musicians everywhere. It's just so cool. There's even snow. That's right, snow in Florida. It's absolutely awesome. Hey guys, we are out here at Disney Springs to celebrate the holidays. We don't have a plan tonight. We found ourselves kid free for an evening. All the trees are incredible. There's great food, great drinks, incredible entertainment. We've got to hit the hangar bar, one of our favorites. But right now, first off, I am craving an amazing espresso martini from Haleo. So I think that's where we're going to start because I, I need Christmas a little boost. Day. I need a little boost. It does feel Christmasy. Yep. No, sounds like a great way to start. I'm going to do the same. So we're going to take you guys along and uh, yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out. Enjoy. We will. So just a heads up for you guys, if you did not know this, as we did not know, there is an every day, I'm talking daily, weekends included, sangria hour here from 11.30 to 6 p.m. where you can get frozen sangrias, different sangrias and wines and stuff for six and seven dollars a glass. Also, they have tapas for these really great prices and little tastings. So this is like a really great little pop-in for a quick drink and a nibble. And we did indeed order a couple of those amazing espresso martinis um, with Tito's vodka. They make them so well here. They're just delicious. So delicious. Much like a lot of places here, if you get free open seating at the bar, you have the full menu here. So if it's just two of you or you know a small group, maybe three, always a good choice to pop in, grab a, grab a bar stool and have some grub. So the thing you're going to notice about these espresso martinis, they're not as black as many um, because they actually make it with fresh espresso. There's not like an espresso flavored mm -hmm. liqueur or something. Merry Christmas. No. I know. It's amazing. Mm. My goodness. So good. So good. You know what I like about it? I mean, it definitely has the bitter of a good espresso, which I love. It's just not, so, so often for me, espresso martinis are just very sweet forward. Um, this isn't, this is like just the right amount of sweet, but you still have the bitter and it doesn't taste like syrup like so many of them do, which I really appreciate. Like, I feel like I'm legit gonna get a good espresso charge off of this, as well as that, that little kick from the Tito's, so. Delicious guys, you have to come and get one of these. They are my favorite in all of Disney property, for sure. I agree. Okay guys, so these are the bonuelos. So these are cod bonuelos. They are unbelievably good. I also just want to point out to you, this is a large, this is twice the size I thought it would be. And this really costs $6.50. I am stunned. This is the best bargain ever. Now, I want to point out though too, the Sangria Happy Hour is only available on the patio or the bar. So this is a honey garlic um, aioli. aioli. These are, it's, it is like a mashed potato with cod. Uh, the fritter. They're gorgeous. Little fritter guys, little bonuelos, yes. okay? But I, I'm still just blown away by the cost. This is the best deal in, in Disney Springs. We have found the best deal in Disney Springs. They look like hush puppies, but they are not. No, they're way better. Wow. I love I love a good fish dish. This has the cod flavor, the fish flavor, creamy smoothness of the mashed potatoes, then a nice crisp on the uh, on the fry from the from the fritter. So oh, so good. And then the honey aioli just complements it really well. Such a sweet, a little bit of garlic. So good. You guys are sleeping on Haleo, I gotta tell you. You're missing out. If you're a food lover like us, and I'm assuming if you're watching this channel that you are, you guys gotta, gotta get over here. You, you're not gonna regret it. We got an order of the, um, the croquetas de pollo. Now, guys, if you have not watched the video that we did um, earlier in the year on Haleo and their tasting menu, oh. 
I'm telling you what, the food here is amazing. It was a win. But was man, so was good. that a great time. We had so much fun. That was perfect. If that ever comes back, I'm telling you guys, if you're a food person, you've got to do it. You just yeah. have to do it. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't expensive. Yeah. We had it so much expensive. food. It wasn't expensive considering the amount of food we got. I feel like the pricing was fair. I think the pricing was fair. But it's still expensive. It's still expensive. So these are little croquettes. They are absolutely incredible. This little thing here is packed, packed with flavor. So we're going to dig in, see if they live up to our memory, right? You know how that is. Yep. And one nice thing, we ordered two items. So they brought one out. You get to taste it, enjoy it. And then a little time later, they'll bring another one out. Right. So I know what you're thinking. That just looks like white. How could that possibly have a ton of flavor? I'm telling you what. These things, these things shocked me, I think, um, shocked me more than anything on that tasting menu. Because I just kind of thought like, okay, but man. It's so good. It's herbal, it's creamy, it's cheesy. There's chicken, but it all like, it's married together so well. So all together, it's the perfect little bite. I love these. Six dollars for four of these. These are unbelievably delicious. Okay, so I picked the last one. Your all turn. Right. I get next. Alea was quite the hit. So good. I'm gonna go to another all-time favorite, Boathouse. See what oh. we can get there. The Admiral's Bar. Okay, there you go. Boathouse it is. We love the Admiral's Bar. I'm surprised that's what you chose. I thought you were gonna pick. We love to go over here to City Works because if you go inside to the bar. They make a mean cocktail there, and you can get them to go, which is always a good idea. Well, maybe get one for the walk over. I don't know. Maybe we we'll can make see. that our choice. Once we discovered that we could get drinks to go at the inside, you can get them at the outside bar as well. But, but the inside bar has a much larger array of um, liquors to choose variety. from and spirits. So um, we go in there, you get it to go, you walk right out. Um, that has been um, a little bit more worth it to us because it's exactly what we want. Right, yeah. right. So, we're going to head over there, I think. All right. Well, learn something new every day. We were just uh, stopping in like we were talking about to get our uh, Mescal Palomas to go from City Works. And uh, ran into somebody there while we are chit-chatting and uh, turned us on to Bottle Works, which is an app. That gives you a discount. Oh, bottleneck. Sorry. Yeah. Bottleneck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, City Works. That City makes sense. Works, bottleneck. Yeah, bottleneck rewards. Bottleneck rewards. You just download the app, uh, register with an email, and that's pretty much it. And then uh, we uploaded the receipt. You already said you get $10 reward. And uh, what she was explaining to us is you get a lot of discounts, a lot of rewards on your whole bill. So we'll see how it goes. Yes. Passing it on. And it's not just food. Yeah, so that's it's huge. Your whole bill. It's your whole bill. So that's nice. Drinks and alcohol, whatever. Yeah. So if you're using your annual pass or some other type of rewards program or, excuse me, discount program, that is not off of alcohol. And this one is. So that's kind of cool. Yep. Ne ne some learn something new every day. Yep. Something we love about Disney Springs is it is free to just walk around and enjoy yourselves. Doing the um, little scavenger hunt for the trees is free as well. There's great coupons yep. on there. Even if you don't want to do the scavenger hunt, you get get that savings. map because there are incredible coupons on the back of that map. I'm not even a coupon girl, but I'm talking like 10, 20% like plus off of things. So, yeah. Salt and Straw always does a really great monthly menu. Obviously, we are in Thanksgiving time now in November, and they do this wonderful array. Like, basically, you could get an entire Thanksgiving meal, but in ice cream form. <laughs> it's really cool. We actually tried all of them last year, so we have a Thanksgiving at Disney video that has just like a guide to all things Thanksgiving around Disney World. And in that one we tried it and got very mixed results. Very, very mixed results.
La Jaleo has the corner on an espresso martini. There's no doubt about it. Boathouse over here at Admiral's Bar has completely nailed a dirty martini. This is the best one. I mean, it's just legendary. We actually crave it and we'll be like, hey, oh, let's go to Boathouse. We both know what that means. That means let's go get a dirty martini. Sitting at the Admiral's Bar in the back corner of the Boathouse have a little appetizer, enjoy the company of the of the staff and the bartenders here, they're so fantastic. And just take in all of the atmosphere. We don't wait in line, we make our way straight through because you're just sitting at the bar. Tip, by the way, it just doesn't get better. It is delicious. All right, the Christmas Old Fashioned here at Boathouse. Got Wild Turkey 81, Cranberry Rosemary Simple Syrup, Bitters, and a Sprig of Rosemary. That sounds, sounds amazing. Pretty tasty. Yeah. yeah. So Manny went with these salt hair. Um, they're from Prince Edward Island. And then he also got the Katama Bay out of Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Beautiful. So you just love, you love oysters. I do. I, I love them. I really do. I'm very happy. Yeah, they make you very, very happy. This is a great place to get them. Yeah, it, it really is. The raw bar over there, and you can go up to the raw bar too, and I think you can sit there, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. You can sit at this bar, you can sit at the bar outside. Yeah, which is also very cool. Yeah, on the water. It's nice tonight, but that's oh, right. gorgeous. This is wonderful. We love the Admiral's Bar. So I went with something I've never gotten before lump crab meat and avocado. Like a salad. And I thought, oh, I'll try that. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, 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 really Fresh crab meat like that. It is not being overdone by any of the other ingredients. It's being highlighted by them. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of paper. There's ever so slight, a little bit of a, a sauce going on, but like I'm talking like tiny. This is amazing. So light, I can't imagine how great this would be on a hot summer day. Beef carpaccio, a little bit of capers, carpaccio, some cheese, the parmesan, and then that arugula, which is such a great combination of flavors. That is just savory on savory on savory. So good. You get the peppery bite with the arugula a little bit, the combination with the wonderfully spiced meat and the Parmesan cheese, capers, everything is just so well blended and together. And not surprised on the quality of the meat because not too many people know this, but the boathouse is actually a steakhouse. Wonderful meat. Perfect. Yeah, good high quality meat. Super high quality. Beautiful. Looks great. Yep. Smells good too. I love the arugula with that um, parmesan. Yeah. have made it to the creme de la creme of all holiday joy. Just overload, shove it down your throat, holidays, everything glitter, everything too much, and it is awesome in it here. We are in the holiday bar, normally known as the hangar bar over here in Disney Springs, and we absolutely love it. Like you right now, just sitting here in your shirt, your Hawaiian shirt, in this environment, like you look like you own Happy the place, man. baby. Like, you just fit right in with this. But we are here. We're going to try a couple things. Today, we're going to stick with holiday because that is our goal of the day. Croquettes. Oh, is that the holiday? Uh-huh. Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I had a frog jump up in my throat. 
Here we come with croquetting. I love that. Naughty or nice deviled eggs. Yes. Um, the holiday mine car meatballs. Oh, ham and cheese trees. That's cute. Jock's famous pigs in the blanket and coquito with cookies, which I have every year. And then now we have hot chocolate flight, a lump of coal, a tannin bomb, and a Jock's fruit cake as the specialty seasonal libations. Um, always such a fun little menu here. It's just it's just such a good time in here. The theming is off the charts. Absolutely, really inside or outside, at the bar, oh, anywhere. Yeah. For sure. We love it. You are starting off with their regular menu, Old Fashioned. It's a Jock's, Jock's Old Fashioned. I believe it is, yeah. Knob, which is a Knob Creek, Creek uh, single barrel select, specific for Disney. So Disney goes and, you know, they go to the distillery, they pick a certain barrel, they taste it, certain barrels, and they pick however many barrels they, they pick. But just a classic Old Fashioned with the Knob Creek single barrel select. So... Let's see. Yeah, you've always had good luck with this drink here. Ooh, yeah. Something they do with Jock's Old Fashioned is um, typically it's, you know, whiskey, a simple syrup, you know, bitters, and some water. So they actually add Quantro in here just a little bit as well. So that kind of helps push it on the orange side. And really good. So I went a little bit boring. I just went with a high lie. I'm going to be the boring gal. Look, I love a high lie. It's a great IPA. It's local. It's delicious. And it never disappoints. So, you know, there we go. High lie is out of Cigar City, right? Out of Tampa. Out of Tampa, yeah. Cigar City Brewing. Yep. And, and so it's it's just a great beer. If you like IPAs, you can always count on high lie. And they have it all over Central Florida. And it, I mean, it's just a great, reliable West Coast style IPA, and we really enjoy it. I just love it. I'm just going to throw out there that my little reindeer hat headband has been quite the hit. I don't. I wore it to the Christmas party one year. I never wore it to Disney Springs, but if you want to know, I got it at the Swalty Sisters in downtown Winter Garden. And they have such cute ones over there. They're all handmade by somebody, not me. <laughs> these are so adorable. Look at these guys. So we've got little turkey croquettes topped with the beautiful cranberry sitting on a bed of what looks to be like a sweet, sweet potato, potato puree. puree. And a lovely gravy for dipping yes. it on. Absolutely lovely. Wow, these are great. Look at that little bite. Isn't he so perfect? A little bit of gravy. Thanksgiving in one bite. Let's see. Let's do it. Okay, this is what it tastes like. It tastes like, you know how like you've, ate, you've eaten your Thanksgiving dinner and then you kind of like gather what's on your plate together and just at this point you're like, whatever, I'm just eating it in one bite. That's what it tastes like. You got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It unfolds. The cranberry was really bright and nice. I feel like without that, it would not have been good. That, that brought a height. It is um, very creamy, which is interesting. Anyway, yeah, I think it's I think it's tasty. Oh boy, it's a mind train coming through. And so next we've got, look at how cute this is, these meatballs, oh my God. It's called sweet potato hay. So it's gonna be like finely, like julienne sweet potatoes that are deep fried, yeah. Um, so we've got maple bourbon meatballs. Granny Smith apple and cranberry chutney. Yeah, and then you're just gonna have some of the sweet potato hay. It's gonna be good. These are very good. That chutney is so good. They're, they're cooked really nicely, they're tender, they're moist. It's really lovely, it's vibrant, it's great. Super flavorful. But like, fantastic. really, really good. I'm gonna grab a couple of uh, sweet potato hay. Wow. That is very good. Super tasty and it's a nice combination of like, the sweet and savory, the sweet chutney with the savory meat. Yeah. And the meat is like cooked, like cooked perfectly. It's like nice and moist and it's a great cook on it. It's very good. I like it. 
I think this is a win. Yeah, those are exceptional. Very good. Exceptional. Hey, and then they've still got a whole bunch of other stuff on there. And then they have the new menu too, which I've heard is like a 10 out of 10. I so, know. Some you know, of the things look really good on there. We'll Jock Lindsay's, yeah, Jock Lindsay's is knocking it out of the park. We do need to come back. In. Disney Springs, you guys, is like a fifth gate for food lovers, shoppers, and anyone who wants to experience the magic of Disney. With incredible theming, shops that you can't find really anywhere else, and world-class entertainment. I'm telling you, this is our favorite. We just love it so much. Everyone in our family, all ages, everybody is up for a day at Disney Springs. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We hope you all have the most wonderful holiday season filled with joy, laughter, and plenty of magical moments. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more holiday magic from Disney Springs.